guys, it's Jenny. Um, I am a naturalist and an animal educator if you're new to this channel. Welcome back if you're already a subscriber. In today's video, we're going to be talking about rattlesnakes, and in particular, eastern diamondback rattlesnakes. Now, this is a species that's native to the southeastern United States, where I live and where I was born and raised, if you can't tell by my very slight southern accent. Um, first off, I don't have a rattlesnake in my hand. This is bacon bit. Bacon bit is a western hognose snake. I wanted to hold her because her pattern is somewhat similar to some of the species of rattlesnakes that we have in the United States. Just as, uh, just as a little prop to have in my hand, I suppose. <laughs> I like to hold one of my snakes when I'm filming. So um, do keep in mind, this is not an actual rattlesnake that I'm holding it. It's not an Eastern Diamondback. It's Bacon Bit the hog nose. And so I wanted to make a video all about Eastern Diamondback rattlesnakes for you guys today because I actually found one. Ah, what in the world? My computer. <laughs> I don't want the notifications. Okay. <laughs> so I actually found an Eastern Diamondback rattlesnake the other day when I was field herping. Go down a few videos in my channel and you'll see I have a video called Reptile Roundup Number 1. And it's my reptile discussion video. And in that video, I discuss road cruising for snakes. And so that's actually what I was doing the other night. I was actually just driving around real slow down dirt roads here in my county looking for um, basically anything that might come across, like corn snakes, rat snakes, copperheads, cottonmouths, anything like that. And I was driving down the road, and I'm going to show you clips from this in a little bit, but I was driving down the road and I came across... Um, a snake very slowly sort of inching across the dirt road in front of my car and I stopped and I knew right away exactly what I had found and I was so so excited because I haven't seen one for a while in some areas the eastern diamondback rattlesnake is still fairly locally common but as a whole their population has been decreasing over the years and one of the reasons for that is habitat loss another reason is uh, road mortality road mortality is basically getting hit by cars whether intentionally or on purpose and also killing by humans now this is one of the most extensively persecuted animals here in the south so i grew up in the rural south and you'll find that here in the rural south and in other areas too where rattlesnakes live is there's this unfortunate mentality that if a rattlesnake is found it needs to be killed instantly and killed on sight and that's not true at all these animals have their place in an ecosystem first off they have their place the thing is too most bites happen when people are directly harassing the snake so if someone were to try and kill a diamondback rattlesnake, they're actually putting themselves in much more danger than if they let that snake go on its, on its own, on its own way. One of my passions in life is to help people understand um, why we don't need to kill these animals. First off, they're predators. They keep rodent populations and rabbit populations in check here in the south. Um, along with other predators that feed on those animals and then they're also prey they give food energy to animals like birds of prey bobcats other snakes like the eastern indigo snake which is a, um, a threatened species here in the south and one that's also disappearing along with the diamondback and so guys i, I uh, i'm going to show you these clips here in a second of the neonate that i found by the way a neonate is a baby rattlesnake that was recently born so these guys are not hatched from eggs they're actually born live from their mother not like bacon bit here bacon bit is hatched from an egg but if you're familiar with waffle waffle was actually born live so he was a neonate once and so i found a neonate diamondback rattlesnake and you're going to see this guy here in a second and i'm also going to include some other clips too and some other general information about eastern diamondback rattlesnakes i hope you enjoy guys enjoy the clips and um i will see you again in just a sec 